So, we're down here at the, used to be the Silky Chicken Coop. Uh, originally, I put this curb in on the outside wall. And then uh, I put this curb in on the inside wall. This is the partition wall between the, the chickens and the uh, cows. And then I got this uh, curb over here. I used paper this time instead of uh, grease uh, oil because I didn't want to. That right there's a finished. I'm going to be using that in the floor. So I didn't want to put oil on it. So that's just paper sacks, feed sacks. And the theory is, is once I pull the form apart, that most of that paper will come off. But if you look, there's still holes underneath the curb. And over here, you see another hole. I'm not sure what's going on. And that could very well be snakes. It looks like there might be a hole started right over here. There's another one over here. And I've got the concrete to do the curbs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do this curb over here. On this wall, this is going to be the last wall I need to do. We'll put a curb on this wall. And then underneath the door, we've got some, um, oh, we, the guy that we got them from, they called them leveling blocks. Anyway, they are solid uh, 4 by 8 by 16 blocks. And what I'll do is I'll put a couple across here underneath the door. But we may have a snake issue down here. And so what I may end up having to do down here is get some wire, put wire on the floor and put pallets in here and just floor this, floor this thing in. And then over here underneath the door, just put them flat blocks so that when you open and close the door, it won't be in the way of the pallets. Then break the pallets up so you, what you basically do is step up to the in, into the coop. Uh, as it is right now, combination of it being like 10,000 degrees. Actually, it's not that hot. It's humid. So between it being humid and me being uh, concerned about the security of this thing, I think I'll move on to another project. Because, I mean, I can take these curbs down, do that, but um, I think I uh, think what I need to do is get some hardware cloth and come in here with pallets and just floor this thing in with pallets. Because, um, yeah, if we're dealing with snakes, these curbs are not going to stop the snakes. Now, what I, another thing I'm going to do is on the outside of the of the barn i don't have a pause button apparently on the outside as you can see where they're digging a hole here i can't i don't think that was before i think that was after i've done this curb over here i don't know it might have been before but they was digging down here and the missus put rocks in the hole down there and um that's what we could do here is put rocks in there and i put a rock in this one but then it's, it blocked uh, the barn door. So I couldn't put a rock in there. But then I put some rocks in it over here. But I think what I'll do, when I, before I can get this open back up, I think what I'll do is I'll run me a hot wire down this thing. Right about, oh, six to eight inches off the ground with standoff insulator so, so it's about six inches off the wall and uh, of course I gotta cut them weeds back that's gonna be a hard time keeping all the weeds out of the wire but if I do that most of the critters that could be getting into the coop would get into the wire first so hmm I'm thinking about putting the ducks down here until we get the duck house built but I don't know. I gotta talk to the missus about this little thing. We gotta see what I gotta get her input on it because gotta get this area under cows or something because 
Yeah, we're gonna lose it again. And we just gotta clear it up. Uh, try to mow and tore the mower up. There's ruts over there, and I caught ruts about two different times, tore the mower up. So anyway, but there's several holes, of, holes out here. Can't really stop the holes out here. Yeah. Hmm. I've got to reassess the situation. Peace, guys.